so today uh, so yesterday we created a program using parameters how to accept the inputs are we able to pass uh, multiple inputs or single inputs in each parameter single, single, input. single input in each parameter so we have a option to pass multiple inputs also that we'll discuss later okay okay so in the inputs like in the selection screen inputs we have the another option called select option where you can pass the range of inputs from for example 1 to 10 100 to 200 or you can also enter multiple inputs in the same parameter right so that uh, we'll see when we are working with the database uh, records and database tables today okay. we'll see control statements today we'll see control okay. statements So what are the control statements? So control statements are uh, conditional statements. So control statements are conditional statements. By using these conditional statements, we can uh, control the flow of the program. Yes, sir. So we have different control statements available. That is, uh, first one is if statement. Mm -hmm. If statement, so by using if statement, we can check the condition and execute specific functionality. We can check the condition and we can execute the specific functionality. By using if statement, we can check multiple conditions actually.
so it starts with if ends with the uh, end if this is the syntax for uh, if statement what is the if statement so by using if statement we can check one or more conditions to execute a specific functionality when condition a is true a specific functionality we are going to execute in between okay if condition b is true one specific functionality we will call here if c is true then one specific functionality we are going to call here if all the above statements are false what will happen it will go to else part if condition a is false condition b is false condition c is false then it will go to else part except all the above conditions this will execute whatever the functionality you implement uh, for else part that functionality will execute okay yes sir and it should close with the end if else if statements can repeat for each condition right if you have multiple conditions you need to use uh, else if here i have added only two but you can add more else if statements you have multiple conditions but we should always make sure there are no multiple true statements in the same uh, statement uh, like that like this if a equal to b then some functionality here i am just using right statement but in general you can use a any functionality you can select the data from database you can call functions whatever the logic you want to implement you can implement here else if b equal to a else and if now tell me is this the proper way of implementing the if statement no if a equal to b we are executing some functionality and in the next condition we are using b equal to a both are same right both are same right these are duplicate conditions so we should not use duplicate conditions right you we should use unique conditions like this b equal to c or maybe b is not equal to c b is not equal to c. sorry uh, b is not equal to a now these are unique conditions right here we are checking if a equal to b what we need to do if if a is not equal to b what we need to do here in the second condition we are checking okay sir like this b is not equal to not okay these are they are these are not duplicate statement right yes sir unique statement unique statements we should always use unique, unique statements, statements. this is the example for uh, if statement that is a is not equal to sir. this sir yes not equal to this is not equal to or you can also use like this ne general english you can also use ne or for equal to you can use eq it will automatically convert into that symbol in background but it is always better to use symbols so that it doesn't need to convert uh, into symbol again the program doesn't require to convert uh, that uh, uh, english letter into symbol in background sir full stop is kept for every line sir every line yes every line. so every line should uh, uh, stop with uh, full stop dot yes 
Okay. Sir, is it possible to use uh, instead of not equal to is any greater than or uh, less than? Huh. We can use any symbol, any operator greater than, this is greater than, this is less than, or less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Okay. You can also use between to, for comparison. Okay. You can use uh, many comparison operator. We have uh, contains pattern CP, NP. We have a lot of things, but since we are in the beginning stage, uh, please observe this uh, equal to or not equal to. Okay. And also we, we, uh, we can add statements like this. If A equal to B and B equal to C. We can also use statements like this using and and now when this uh, this functionality will execute to execute Only this functionality both should be true both should be true okay okay sir a equal to b should be true and b equal to c should be true then only this functionality will execute when we use yes, uh, multiple conditions like this using and okay oh. we can also use r when we use r what will happen either either, either. for the one, either be one true. is true then it will execute yes sir okay you can use okay. r and these statements also okay now yes. let's say we are using true two uh, true statements right a equal to b and a equal to b Yes. The both statements. Now tell me which one will execute. I am saying that only one true statement will execute. It won't. Even though we have two true statements, it's not going to execute both. It will execute this is only one true statement. So first, it will, yeah, if statement. It will, yeah, it will execute the first available true statement and come out of the end, end if. Yeah. Okay. okay Now, we'll create a sample program on this and then we'll go to the next control statement. Okay, sir. Or I'll show you uh, the other statement also. That is easy. So, we'll implement both. So next one is case statement. So case statement is also one of the control statement. So what is the difference? When we use case statement and when we use if statement. So case statement will execute based on the value of the variable. But what is the difference between if and case statement? For if statement, all the conditions are equal to, no greater than, no less than. The variable value should be equal to the condition. Okay, like this. Syntax for case statement is case, for example, variable name and case in between the case and end case right we have a when value when 
value similarly so like that if you have multiple values to compare we need to use a one more when statement if you have multiple state multiple values to compare right when all the other when all the above values are uh, incorrect and, and when the all the above values are not matching then uh, what will execute other else Else we don't only. have uh, else here. Instead of else, we have uh, others. Others. Okay. So a specific uh, code will execute. Functionality one will execute if the value is uh, sorry not here. After when 